How's the back? You know how it is. Now, come on, trust yourself. And concentrate. If they're watching, it's because they're interested. Come on. Okay, well, that's a simple mistake. That's all it is. We all make mistakes. You didn't have to hit the mirror, Martin. You could have just looked at it. <laughs> Barry, uh, sorry, sorry about that one. It's all right. It's not your fault. You shouldn't have been out here. So where else? I've got to clean the motors. There's no space on the lot. You should have asked. Yeah, I tried. I'm more nervous now than before I first got behind the wheel. Yeah, that's called experience. You're beginning to take it seriously. I thought we got top of experience. Take a good look now, because I doubt you'll be seeing this again. Oi. You're gonna buy that or you're just gonna dance with it? Yeah, well, getting okay, tough is not always the best thing. You got anything worth paying good money for? Yeah, it's probably out of your range. Oi, this is a market stall, not a games arcade. You want a bit of fun? Go find yourself a slot machine. Oh, I've got a driving lesson later. All you ever do now is hang around with Mr. Pink. But Derek's a nice bloke, all right? Oh, is he really? How nice. Shut up. Well, go on, I won't laugh. No, you fancy him, that's fine with me. You're so immature. Well, I'm immature. Look, I'm off with some hardcore hanging out with the lads and all you want to do is go off with Derek. Just leave me alone, right? Don't do anything too radical. So, what is it today? Three point turns. Oh dear, say goodbye to your bumper. <laughs> Come on. Cheers, Mark. If you're clear, get oh, Sorry. All right, don't worry about it. Take your time. Handbrake on. Okay. Neutral. Let, here, let, let's go forward a bit. Just give yourself a bit more room first. That's it. Handbrake off. That's it. Just about there. Right, now into reverse. Check your blind spot and your mirror. All right, that's it. Big time, sir. Oh, hey, what are you doing? That's it, Martin. Bit more, bit more. That's it, brother. You just go all the way. Come on, ignore them. That's it. Let's finish this one in reverse. That's it. You okay? Oh, on you can do it. Just balance the clutch. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's lovely. <laughs> hey, what's the matter, mate? Your big end gone. Are you looking for a punch in the mouth? Hey, hey, we're only trying to encourage you, aren't we, lads? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Derek. Is it all right? Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it, it's only a bumper. It's always this fault. Right, can you give me a cheese roll to take it out, please? Dum, dum, da dum, 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 da dum. I was only singing. No, as if what you are is pathetic. <laughs> Here, Martin. What? Derek's bought you a present. <laughs> <laughs> Making sense, is it? Yeah, I'll manage. <laughs> Look, forget about that cheese roll, Sue. I've got to go. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, uh, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Try me. No, you really wouldn't get it. <laughs> right. I'll leave you to play with your bottle, shall I? <laughs> <laughs> Oi, Martin. What's up with him? Apart from the fact he's incredibly immature. <laughs> You'll be right for this afternoon. Why, where are you going? Got a few things to sort out, haven't I? Yeah, that means I think they're dead. <laughs> Martin, has uh, Mark been back? Yeah, he was back a bit earlier on. Where is he now? Dunno. Yeah, what's that? What's what? That pink stuff on your sleeve. What is it? Chalk or something? It's nothing. Oh, and where are you going? Got to see as if. I don't know why you waste your time hanging about with that boy. Well, that's between me and him, Mum, yeah? She's got something to sort out. Excuse me. Oh, all right. 
Oh, ignore him, he's got something on his mind. All right? Yeah. How's things? All right, how's things with you? Buy me a coffee later and I'll tell you. Oi, Picasso! I thought you two were mates. Yeah, so did I. Just got a few things to sort out, that's all. Did you get a break? Yeah, 11 o'clock. How about we meet up in the cafe and you can tell me all about it? Oi, is that the best you could come up with, eh? My fella's queer. <laughs> Original, innit? <laughs> Where'd you think you're going? All right, all right. No one's come so heavy. Look, you ain't having a laugh? Yeah, at me. That was only a joke. Joke over, all right? All right, all right, whatever. Look, where you up to now? I'm busy. Look, do you fancy like coming up town later? <sighs> Look, I'm being serious. I thought we could chill. No, I'm going to see someone. What sort of someone? Someone who's a lot more chilled than you. Can I have a takeaway coffee, please? Sure. Now, what's a nice girl like you doing in a bump like this? Waiting for a nice boy like Martin. What, like a date? Change plan then. I'll have a coffee in here. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Alison, where are you going? You got a bag? Something's come up. Look, I know that you like spending your time with Derek. What? You know, Derek, your friend. You mean my mum's friend? Listen, the only reason I'm keeping in with him is so I can have my driving lessons. Derek ain't no friend of mine. He's just some sad, lonely, screwed up old man. Yeah, well, give me a call when you've dumped him. You went for eight, didn't you? Yeah, eight, that's right. Yeah, Jim, is it true both of your budgies are geezers? Oh, Mabel. They wouldn't be laying, would they, if they were Wendy's, would they? Well, I don't know. Yeah, maybe we should ask the expert. <laughs> ask me what? Nothing. Is it too late to have a punt? No, of course not, no. Give us a number. Five. Oh, Winston! I'll see you in a vic at seven, son. I thought we might do some more parking today. Yeah, I've got to wait for Mark to get back though, it won't be long. Okay, I'll just grab a quick cup of tea then. Very chummy, ain't ya? Oh, how many times? I'm just getting lessons. In what? Gent loving. Shut up. No, I'm just thinking of you, son. People have been saying some very unkind things. Yeah, but don't worry though. I haven't listened to what they say. Hey, listen, Mark, you don't have to rush back because Derek can't take me out now. How come? Oh, it's time to do a work, you know. Go on, go build the table. Yeah, all right. Where's he going? You're supposed to be on your lesson. Yeah, he asked me to cover for him. He's sorting out a meal for him and Lisa. Oh, oh well, we have a good one to explore that. Mm. Well, next time, eh? Well, what are you doing, Mum? Well, Doc will be on soon. You're only going to be an hour or so, aren't you? No, but... Uh... It's all right. Don't thank me. Come on, you. you can't get out of it that easy. Yeah. Come on. You're just not concentrating now. Now, come on, into neutral. Check your mirrors. Don't pump the gas like that, you'll flood it. Do you want me to uh, get behind and give it a good push? <laughs> not yet. Oh, what are you doing? Get off me! I think we'd better leave it there for today. I think we'd better leave it permanently. Oh, cheers, mate. What's this about you stopping your driving lessons? Thanks for grassing us up. Derek's gone out of his way to help you. Yeah, well, I've had enough. I'm not answering. Go on, see if he's left the message. Oh, yeah. Uh, about half hour or so. Stephen didn't call before you left, did he? No. Oh. Stephen, Peter and Lucy have gone out somewhere with Sadie and Charlotte. But where were they going? If I knew that, I wouldn't be stood here, would I? Tom was supposed to have picked him up. He left him stranded a couple of hours ago. Tom? Are you stupid or oh, something? the geezer's a liability. He can't even look after his own wife. Don't you think I know that? Yeah, all right, calm down. Look, me and Ian are going to scout around. Anyone who wants to help, we'd appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. I'll lend you. Thanks. I'll check it home, see if there'll be any messages. Right, well, I might as well come with you. Martin! Martin, you're needed. It's going to be all right. Will you stop being such a baby and get in the car? This is your family we're talking about. Don't want to. I've just about had enough of this. What is your problem? It's you. I don't want to get in the motor of an old puff, all right? Oh, dear. Good morning. Oh, hi. In here. Hello. Uh, look, I'm going to be doing some tidying up at the allotment later. Can I leave some tools in? Yeah, of course you can. Just let yourself in. I suppose you've more time on your hands now. You haven't got to teach ungrateful little so-and-sos how to drive. There you go. Steady on. What's up with them? 
Oh, who knows? Who cares? He's packed in his driving. How come? Well, I don't know. He's probably lost interest like he does with everything else. Yeah, well, um, I'd better get going. Right, see you later. Yeah. Which of these is most like sweets? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're quite healthy as well, aren't they? How much? Uh, so many people has. Thank you. Harry, thanks for finding the kid yesterday. It's right, I've got it. Thank you. Cool, where'd you get that? A farming museum? If you dance. Do you, uh, want to have a chat about what you said last night? Maybe a bit later. I was thinking perhaps we could take things a bit slower. Go at your pace, what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me, you poof! You see? I told him! Not in the mood for any more abuse, thank you. But there's something I wanted to show you. What's that supposed to prove? Look, I ain't got nothing against you, Derek. So you don't know the grief I've been getting. So, explain. Well, there's a certain way you have to be out there. And if you're not, you get ripped. I see. So you are ready to throw away your lessons and our friendship because of things your mates have been saying. Can't be very good mates, can they? I want them same things. You could stand up to them. This ain't Jerry Springer, Derek. If I slap him down, that's it. I don't get a round of applause. Believe it or not, I do understand. But you can't let your so-called friends dictate your life for you. It's them with a problem, not me. Really? I wonder what your father would have thought about all this. Oh, get your hands off me, you naughty boy. All right, all right, I know. Give it a rest, as if. Wait, look, it comes out all puff now. <laughs> so I've got to know, who is the sexiest, Westlife or Blue? Sorry, were you addressing that question to me? Just give it a rest, as if. Well, so are you. I'll tell me you fancy him again, now. Huh? Well, I'll just have a couple of those after there, please. Come on, I'll get those for you. How much? Well, it's a kiss and apple, so that's two kisses. It's 50p. Oh, thank you. Wait, you could have backed me up? You know your trouble, Martin. You don't know if you're Arthur or Martha. What were you saying about my dad? Oh, no, no. It was just a figure of speech, bruv. Martin. You pathetic child. Well, I haven't seen it look this good since Dad died. You've got to admit, Derek's put everything into it. No one made him, Mark. No, you're right. He chose to. For Mum's sake. Just keep wondering what he's after. I don't get you. Well, he's hardly after Mum, is he? So why do all this? Why help our family out so much unless... unless he's after me? Oh, yeah? And why would he be after a little scrope like you? Oh, yeah, what's wrong with me? Oh, you think you're Brad Pitt, do you? What bloke's gonna fancy you? Yeah, well, I'm all right looking. Yeah, in your dreams, sunshine. Oh, I'm cool, mate. I'm in shape. I bet loads of blokes are fancy me. Now, look, why is he hanging about? I mean, what sort of driving lessons about? Well, has he made a pass at you? Well, not exactly, no. Grow up, Martin. He's just being kind. He wants to help you. It's exactly the same with the allotment. You know, he really cares for Mum. He just wants to make her family happy. You know, it's like a Sunday morning and Dad's just finished up. And he's in that shed right now. And all I have to do is go and open the door and he'll be sitting in his deck chair reading his paper. I really miss him, Mark. Well, I reckon Derek's given you that memory. And he's worked damn hard to do it and all. See you back at the store. Um, Martin, what's the best way to kiss a man without getting stubble burned? <laughs> well, you have to ask him to shave. And make sure your chins don't rub too much. Is that any help? Do you mind if I... Uh... Yeah, go on, mate. I'll finish up here. All right, Derek. Reasonably. Just gonna have a quick drink with your mother, if that's all right. Yeah, of course. But um, I was just wondering, um, do you mind if we start again with the driving lessons? Why? 
because I was out of order and I should have known better. And you're right, my dad wouldn't have liked the way I've been treating you. Well, I suppose if you're apologising. Yeah, I am. Working out where you can have your candle lit supper, ladies? No, I was just about to have a drink with Derek. Wasn't I, Derek? Yes, that's right. And you can sit with us if you like, if you promise you're a lot of grown up. I'll get them in, Derek. Have an orange juice and lemonade, mate, thanks. All right, uh, orange juice and lemonade, then a straight lemonade, please, Phil. Phil, what? Orange juice. I heard you the first time. Mark, get you in. No, thanks. I'm getting off home. Have a nice night with my lovely wife. Anyway, I'm going to get a pass on a message from Mum. So she'll be in in a minute. Right. Mark, cheers. Anytime. What's all that about? Big brother stuff. So what do you want me to do with all these? Oh, just come to me. I'll make sure Sharon gets them later. Oh, what's that? What's wrong? One of your mates, no doubt. No, no, this ain't their style. Anyway, Mark got one of these. Yeah, well, who else around here do something like that? Janine. I don't know how she's got the front to show herself here. Yeah, well, it's definitely her that wrote it. Oh, don't tell me she's gone and done it again. What did this one say? Uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, if I could just have your attention for a moment. Can you out? Yeah? We'll let her. I've got other things in my mind. Oh, it's vicious, just like all the rest of them. Pure malice. Yeah, but what exactly did it say? It said, you dirty old man shacked up with Martin. Like I'm young, dear. What's this? Oh, another poison pen letter, only this time for Derek. I see, what kind of vindictive little mind has she got? Who? Janina, of course, who else? Look, you don't know it's her. But it's got to be her ear. She's been making comments all day. Sounds just like her style. Why don't you cut the girl some slack, eh? You're defending her after all the twisted things she's done. Yeah, well, she's had quite a lot done to her and all, hasn't she? How you getting on with your surrogate mum, then? I bet he keeps the house nice and tidy with his feather duster. Excuse me? He must love having a gorgeous young man to look after. <sighs> just trying to make a joke. Yeah, I'm cracking up, ain't I? Martin, wait. Please wait. Oh, leave me alone, will ya? I don't need you on top of everything else. It's somebody else's nasty little mind, Martin. Their problem isn't your problem. Throw it away. No. No, I'm going to keep this. Evidence. Oh. Mum keeps everything, doesn't she? But why? What's the point? To remind ourselves. Old times. Memories we want to treasure. Well, here's one little memory we all love to treasure. How much are these? Sorry, we're not open. It's gone nine. So we're late. Complain to the council. What can they do about it? Nothing. Martin, I just want a word. I thought you wanted a melon. Look, what I said about you and Derek, you know, being an item. Oh, it was stupid. I'm really sorry. It was pathetic. Yeah, what was that again? Stubble rash? I weren't thinking. No, you were too busy laughing. Look, it was wrong and I'm really sorry. Oi! What do you think you're doing? I was unloading. I was only two minutes. They get you for you know it, don't they? I see him over the square earlier. Oh yeah. And what did you do? Say, have a go at this one. Is that what you think of me? Well, do you know what, Martin? I've tried. I've come up to you and I've said sorry. Well, that is it. I saw you come in. What do you want? I, um, I think I owe you some money for that clamp. That's my bit. Well, if I had come up and spoke to you, maybe you'd have got to your car. Well, that's it, that's all. It's a tenner. I don't want your money. We'll be quits, all settled and sorted. Look, I said I don't want your money. Well, I offered. What more can I do? You could try and not hassling me again. Hassling? Do you know what, Martin? If that's the way you want it, you've got it. I'll do this and she'll love it. 
Nothingness, bit rough on her, weren't you? It was gorgeous. Paying your dues, are you? Well, we're all entitled to one mistake, aren't we? <laughs> so, what did she do then? Alison. Must have been something awful. Did she hurt you? Not me. But, do you remember all those stupid jokes? The same things about gay men and you and me. You mean with Asif? That was ages ago. You've forgiven Asif, haven't you? Well, I got the impression that Alison had apologised as well. Look, if she said something about me, it's up to me to be upset, isn't it? Martin, you're a mature, responsible young man, and I appreciate what you're doing. But isn't all this best forgotten, eh? And we're all entitled to one mistake. <laughs> Yo, right, Alison. Look, I've had a think, and well, about what you were saying earlier, that tenner would be really handy. Or you could just buy me a drink. What if I don't want to? Well, then I've managed to stand here and look completely stupid, haven't I? How about we start over? How can we do that? So, do you come here often? Nice girl like you, what are you doing in a place like this? Friends? We we'll see. Don't worry, I told you, just a couple of lads, have a laugh, you know? Go on. I'm Martin! Why, why don't the pair of you stay down here with me, eh? I could do with the company. And it'll give me a chance to get to know Alison better. Tell you what, why don't we open a nice bottle of wine, eh? No, cheers, Derek, but uh, we'll be all right upstairs. Uh, yeah, um, I don't think your mum would be too happy about her. Well, she's not here, is she? No, but I don't think we should flout her rules, do you? Read or what? Well, thank you, Derek. Look, if it was up to me... But your mum left me here to look after you. I thought you said I could take care of myself. Of course you can. <laughs> but I need to be able to trust you. This is your mum's house and nothing is going to go on in it that she wouldn't approve of. I need to be able to look her in the eye and know I'm not hiding anything from her. Understood. But you know, we wouldn't have done anything. Martin. It's my mistake. Now we've all made one. <laughs>